Hi everyone, this is Soso with another Lost Ark video. Today I wanted to go over the concept of dailies, also referred to as homework in Lost Ark. Dailies are a crucial part of Lost Ark Endgame because the rewards are necessary for gear progression. I know many beginners will have no idea what to do after they finish pushing through the storyline, so I wanted to lay it out as simple and easy as possible. I'll only be going over dailies in this video, and weeklies will be covered in a different video. Hopefully, this will better prepare newbies for when they inevitably hit endgame content. Let's get started. First on the homework docket is the guild check-in. If you have not yet joined a guild after pushing through the story quests, I would highly recommend you do so. Donate to your guild once a day to obtain Shilmael Bloodstones. You can also contribute to research to acquire more Bloodstones. These Bloodstones can be exchanged for gear enhancement materials, so make sure you do this every day. Plus, it helps your guild out so it's a win-win situation all around. Affinity actions are highly important because the rewards are relatively worthwhile. NPCs that you can have affinity with are marked with a heart on the map. You can also press Alt and N to bring up the list of all affinity NPCs, and you can go through their rewards and also check their favorite items. Affinity actions consist of giving gifts, playing songs, or emote reactions. There is a daily restriction of 5 song actions and 5 emotes per day, so make sure you use all your uses. The Island of Grief is a small island off the coast of Papunika. This island holds a daily quest that gives you a key, and this key is used to go through the dungeon off the northeast end of the island. After clearing the instance, you should obtain a good amount of red thread that you can collect and exchange with the NPC right outside. The boss in the dungeon also has a chance of dropping the Star of Orpheus, or the Heart of Island, so it is recommended you keep on with this daily until you have acquired all the rewards. Epona quests, also called Tasks of Una, are another crucial way of collecting resources. Press Alt-J to open up the Epona quest window, and type in the search bar to sort by the resources you need. Along with the resources, completing quests will also increase reputation. Raising reputation will also give you separate rewards, and this can only be done once per account per quest. At the top of the window, there is a rest bonus that charges for days you might have missed. It will charge by 10 per missed quest, to a max of 100. It will automatically use 20 rest bonus to double rewards, so be sure to check that you are using it for the rewards you really need. Chaos Dungeons consist of killing waves of mobs to obtain rewards. You can find the entrance to the dungeon by looking for the winged crystal icon on the map. You can obtain shillings, gear, accessories, and gear enhancement materials. You can go through this alone or as a party, but the difficulty increases relative to how many party members you have. Entering the dungeon uses 50 energy, and since you have 100, you are able to enter twice a day. If you fail to enter the portal in time, or leave the dungeon preemptively, it will still use your energy. There are also potions to restore your energy. There is also a rest bonus for chaos dungeons, and one missed run will count as 10 rest bonus. Guardian raids are carried out as parties, and you have to combine forces to raid a giant boss monster. The red flag icon on the map indicates the entrance to the raids. Guardian raids are unique in that the boss's health bar is not visible, and there are also restrictions such as not being able to use the F1 pots and only being able to resurrect three times. 
The rewards can consist of accessories, gear enhancement materials, cards, ability stones, and skill runes. The goal is to take down the boss and collect their soul, and you are able to do this twice a day. There is also a rest bonus for guardian raids, and this will allow you to collect two souls in one run. Make sure that you have a good amount of battle items before you step into these runs. There is also an unspoken rule of using this flare item, which is used to show the boss on the map, in the order you're appointed in the party. So one would use the flare first, then number two, and so on. Some bosses will run away when low on health, hence why the flare rule exists. Keep this in mind and keep some flares in your inventory, and you are good to go. That's it for today. I hope this video gave you a clearer idea on how to run endgame dailies. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about Lost Ark homework. Check out my other videos about Lost Ark, and like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.